Hi, this is Pugal. In this video blog, I'm going to talk to you about the right way to file an insurance claim. There are five key steps in order to file an insurance claim. Number one is to have the property inspected. So in order to do that, you need to make sure you hire a good general contractor it has to be a reputable company and you can find many reputable A-rated companies at business, Better Business Bureau website and make sure they have been in business at least for five years. So once you decide on a general contractor, have them come and inspect the property or the roof that has been damaged. Okay, Most of them do that at no cost. Now, once the general contractor lets you know that the roof needs to be replaced, then you go to the second step, which is opening a claim. In order to open a claim, you call the insurance company and discuss uh, to them that they, there was a hail on a particular date and time and the roof has been damaged and you want to file a claim. So they are going to get your information and they are going to give you a claim number and they're also going to assign you an insurance adjuster with a date and time. Okay, Then uh, you go to the next step, which is evaluation. Now in this evaluation step, the insurance adjuster representing the insurance company is going to be on site looking at the damage uh, caused by the hailstorm or any natural disaster. Now, you want to make sure when the insurance adjuster is on site, the general contractor who inspected the property is also on site. This is a very, very important step. The reason being, we want to make sure the general contractor assessment of damage and the insur insurance adjuster assessment of damage are completely agreed upon, okay? The output of this is the insurance adjuster sometimes spends based on your property size two to four five hours in evaluating the damage and he is going to say these are all the damages and this is what we agree to reimburse for. So when you have the general contractor on site, they agree for all the claims, they approve the work after your deductible. So then comes the Next step, which is actual performance of the work. Now, per the insurance policy contract you have with the insurance company, you're responsible for paying your portion of the deductible and the insurance company will pay for the other damages, okay? So they cut you a check. They don't cut you a check for the full amount of the damages. They cut maybe 60 or 70% based on different insurance company. The work gets started. And let's say the insurance, the general contractor completes the work, then uh, the other portion of the check is issued, okay? Finally, you go into what is called the closing the claim, okay? So once all the work is completed, right, the general contractor is made all the claims, the general contractor um, is going to inform on your behalf that work has been completed and the claim has can be closed. Now, once the claim is closed, right, um, in very in rare cases, the insurance company can come and inspect the roof. So, folks, very often I'm asked. There are a lot of roofers who approach me and say, "Hey, your roof is damaged. Um, you know, you don't have to pay any deductible. We will take care of it." Now, when somebody approaches you, they are making you commit an insurance fraud, which is against the law. Let me explain a little bit in detail. When somebody says that they are going to pay your deductible, the roofing company is either compromising on the quality of the job that was agreed with the insurance company, or two, they are going to claim a, a false work. What I mean by it is they might have claimed that they replaced the gutters in your property and the fact is they did not do it. So when they make a false claim on your behalf, guess who is responsible? You, because the, the contract you have with the insurance company is between you, the policyholder, 
and the insurance company, not the contractor. So be very cautious. I have included the URL so that you can study more details. Folks, thank you so much for watching this video blog. If you or someone you know are looking to buy or sell a home in Dallas-Fort Worth area, please re refer my name. My name is Pugo at 972-408-7402. That's 972-408-7402.